Okay, now that you've created your site assessment, you want to move on and create your first permit. The permit section is located here under survey, and this is how you create a permit. You can either take the site assessment that you created before, and then you can click on raise a permit, or you can just create a permit from scratch by hitting this permit button here. Same information as before, you put in the customer's name, email, and the phone number, also the total kilowatts you're going to put right here in this section. Whether it's residential or commercial, we're going to click residential. Uh, whether it's going to be on the house or on a carport, we'll click on house. And an MPU required. Now, we're going to ask you to let us know whether you think an MPU is required or we're going to ask you to make sure you share enough pictures so we can help you determine whether an MPU is required. So a little trick that I can share with you is uh, most homes that have 100 amp service will need an MPU upgrade. So I would say for now just put for no. And as always you can put your comments down here saying not sure if an MPU is required. Then you're going to click on whether it's PV plus battery, PV only, or it's going to be battery. So let's say PV plus battery. The address, and this is really important because it's going to trigger other sections of the permit. Whether it's new construction or not, as we indicated before, if it is new construction we'll need a roof plan and some additional site pictures. You're going to put in the state. Once you put in the state, that's going to trigger the AHJ information. So state, put in your city. We're going to skip this ESI ID number. Uh, these are the default panels that I've chosen to put in for the permit. So you can put in what model PV panel you're going to use and then how many. Same thing with the inverters. And then over here, you're going to put in uh, the battery make. So right now, let's put in Tesla. Uh, you can actually put in a battery that may not be listed. You could just put in the sections uh, on the bottom here in the comments saying, I'm using Generac or I'm using some other uh, battery manufacturer. So I encourage you to please don't let that stop you from adding the battery that you want to use. Uh, the battery model, let's say Powerwall 2, and then the number of batteries. Here you're going to be adding the mounting type, which will either be roof, ground, or both. Let's say it's going to be on the roof. Then you're going to drop down here. Now, once remember when I said about putting the state in? Once you put in the state, it's going to trigger which AHJ you'll be working in. So you'll just have a drop down here and pick the AHJ. And also, you'll pick the utility. So for Texas, it'll give you, or even for Florida or any region, uh, unless you're in like New York where there's only uh, two utilities, uh, you want to click here in the AHJ and click on the utility, and it'll give you the options to choose which ones. Any AHJ requirements? Uh, we work in a number of AHJs across the US, so there might be some AHJ requirements that you have that we don't have, and vice versa, some that we have that you don't have. <laughs> Hope I said that right. And then the utility. We're going to skip over this risk factor, that's for future use, determine whether the battery is going to be whole or partial backup, whether you're gonna have fire setbacks or not, and then the financing, whether it's going to be cash, lease, or it's going to be a loan. Now, since this is a brand new permit and we're not taking information from the site assessment, we're going to ask you to upload uh, all site assessment photos, the layout, a sales proposal, any videos. You can, again, you can attach any information here, PDF, and then also the roof layout from the site assessment. And as always, you can say, please see Google Drive here and you give us access to your Google Drive. And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on Submit to Watmuck. Do not hit Save for Later. Hit Submit to Watmuck. That clock's going to start for 15 minutes. Again, we will check and make sure that all the sections are filled out. If we have questions, it will go into a hold position. And when it's on hold, we're going to ask you to release it or assign it once you've made the changes. And we could talk about that once we have a conversation. But for the purposes of the demo, you're going to go into your new stage. It should skip over revisions overhold and start your designing. Again, this is where your food starts to cook. Once it's complete, we'll do our quality check and review, and then it's actually been delivered to you. So here are a couple of examples of different uh, permits that are in the demo database. So let's say I'm gonna click here, and it's gonna open up the section, it tells me all the information that we filled in for the permit. Okay, then we're gonna scroll down, see any attachments, any information. Oh, what's this here? This is your permit. So we're going to click this section here, and it's going to open up a tab, and it's going to show me your permit. 
Now, these permits have been created based on thousands and thousands of permits we've done across the U.S., so we are probably going to give you more information uh, in these permits because we work in different states that have requirements to add more, take away information, but we're going to overwhelm you with, with details and data. As you can tell, this is a white label permit, so you can add in your company's names, logos, fonts, and what have you. So here's the first page of the permit. I'm sure you've seen this before. Okay, this next page is going to have the, uh, the plot plan, the roof plan, and the site plan. So where the property lines are drawn, where the modules are going to be, uh, be placed. This is going to be your roof plan and the modules where they are, along with uh, connections for the battery and just more specs and details. Uh, this section here is going to be your string layout. This section will be for the roof attachments. They're using S5 clips for this particular installation. This is uh, for your mounting. So these are the details for quick mount PV. This is going to be your one line diagram. If this were commercial, we would also do a three line diagram. Here are the specs. These are the placards. This is for the module that you'll be using. This is for Silfab 330. This is a uh, so this is I'm sorry this is solar edge <laughs> um, solar edge module um, sorry, solar edge and oh boy need more coffee <laughs> this is for a solar edge this is for the power optimizers and this is for a Tesla power wall and then the spec sheet for the roof attachments right here one section I want to go back to before I continue with the permit is to show you where the bill of material section is it's super super important so your bomb or your bill of material is going to be right here And that is your permit. Now, what happens with the permits, once you submit it to the platform and it's accepted, if you submit it before 12 noon Eastern, you'll get it in about six hours. Sometimes it'll come before that, but our standard turnaround time is six hours. If you submit it after 12 noon Eastern, you'll probably get it in the middle of the night, which means you'll get, up, you'll get it when you get up in the morning. So that's the permit section. Now stay tuned for stamping.